Hey everybody, it's Jackson, and today I'm going to be showing you how to, for free, put an ebook on Kindle using Kindle Create. So, this is pretty much free, providing that you have um, Word. You can probably do it without Word, probably with some other sort of uh, processing document or processing software, word processing software, whatever you call it. Um, I only know how to do it with Word, so that's what we're going to be using. And right here, I'm at the link where you can download Kindle Create. Kindle Create does have some legal things to it that I'm not going to go into all of it uh, simply because I can't remember all of it, and also I don't want uh, anybody to be getting their legal advice from me. But I'm pretty sure the big thing about using Kindle Create is that if you use Kindle Create to make your ebook, you have to make your ebook exclusively on Kindle. So, yeah, that's kind of, that makes sense. And I think that's the big thing about using Kindle Create is just like not using it to make an ebook and then taking it to sell that ebook on other platforms that do not belong to Amazon. So, anyway, yeah, here's the link. Um, I could probably put this down in the description. You can download it for free. Um, and so, yes, I'm going to jump over to my Word document. So this is pretty basic. Um, as you can see, it's kind of a standard 8 by 11 page. So that's kind of like the standard when you open up a Word document. Um, it's not super fancy in the way I've laid this out. Uh, I actually made this little, this is like a short story. And I made this little section separator in Procreate, and I up like I uploaded it as a um, small like I made it a small picture, and then I centered it, and so it looks like a little section separator. And so that's actually my first time ever doing that, and so I was kind of happy with the way that turned out. So yeah, this is a short story. Um, rounding up, it's about twelve thousand words, and it's called Sidewalk Secret. Um, it's kind of like a youth fiction uh, short story, and it's kind of unpolished. I, I wrote it in about over a week. It took over a week, I guess, to do, um, and I only like ran over it once to edit and polish things, so it's kind of rough around the edges. As far as settings go, the only things I really did to it, aside from kind of just basic, you know, spacing, like whenever I get done with a paragraph, like pressing enter to, you know, jump to a different paragraph and all that. The only thing I really did, um, besides just the basic stuff of when you're doing a Word document and doing stuff in Word, the only things I did really differently was nothing fancy. I kind of just went to paragraph and like, yeah, it's in home. And you can kind of go to this little box right here you press it and in like the indentation and gives you like settings about indentation and spacing and stuff in indentation I went to the special I put first line I did um, 0.2 inches for the first line of every paragraph and so it indents that automatically so like okay and you can see that for every first line for every paragraph it is indented and so that kind of makes it a little more um, a little makes it a little more professional I guess and there was one other thing I did I think the only other thing I did was I changed some of the um, how much space comes after a paragraph I changed it at like four points or something like that but again I probably didn't even have to do that I probably didn't even have to do anything I could keep it pretty basic and so yeah this is essentially what it looked like uh, once I was done and I didn't have to change very much. This is the cover I made in Canva and it's an ebook cover. Very simple, it did not take long at all and again this is kind of just an example so I didn't pour a whole lot into making a cover but it was very easy. And so here's Kindle Create, I have it opened. I could press new project from file um, and when I did that, it would take me to this page where I would choose, it would like give me one, it would give me two options. It'd be like, okay, your ebook is a, um, a novel, an essay, a lot of your typical things that you're going to be using as an ebook. And then there was another setting that you could choose that was like, uh, my ebook is 
I can't remember what it was, but it was kind of more of a, most likely you're going to be doing the one that says novel or essay. That's probably going to be the setting you're going to choose. And then you're going to upload your Word document onto the Kindle Create. It's going to process it. It's going to take perhaps one or two minutes, not very long, depending on how long your uh, document is. But for this, I'm just going to resume an existing project. Okay, and here we are. That took a few seconds to pop up. Um, it didn't take very long. And so, yeah, you can see my title page right here, A Sidewalk Secret, J.I. Harvey, that's my author name. And for that, I kind of, the great thing about Kindle Create is that you can like add things in after you upload the document. So if there's a mistake or say you see a typo while you're reviewing the ebook, you can fix it on here rather than having to go back to Word, change it in Word, and then upload it to Kindle Create again. So that's super nice. This is like, I think that was a book subtitle. I could have just put it as an author name, um, but it, it looks pretty much the same. For this, I can change, like you can change the formatting, you can change the spacing. I can make it, let's see, I can make it go down a little, I can make it go up a little, um, and I could probably change, what does this do? Um, I don't really know what that does. And elements, and you can see there's section separators here, chapter, first paragraph, and you can just do a lot of cool stuff in here. It's a little bit like Word, really. And so as you can see, it's pretty basic. Yeah, see, there's my... I like how it looks. I don't really... It kind of just automatically converted it to this, and it didn't really change much of anything. It might have changed the font a little, but I don't mind that. There's my section separator. Um, I think one time when I like had first set this up, I was kind of messing around with section, uh, the section separator, trying to make it bigger, and then it went way too big, so I was like, you know what, I'm just going to keep it small. So it shows up kind of faintly, but that's okay. And so, yeah, that looks good. And if anyone is interested in the ebook and they would like to check it out, that would be awesome. It should be on Kindle. Um, I was wanting to make the ebook free, but I think that Amazon won't let me because they want, you know, they want to get a cut from the ebook as well. Um, so I think I have to charge for it. But I can still make it pretty inexpensive. And the main purpose of all this is just to show as an example, but it was kind of nice to write it. It was a kind of it was a short story that kind of came out of nowhere in my head, and it was kind of nice seeing how it developed. Yeah, this was a letter. I changed some of the spacing here. The spacing was a little crushed here, and it was like, oh, <laughs> whoops. Yeah, you can just undo if you make a mistake. The spacing was a little crushed. It was like this, and I didn't like that, and so I just did that. And so it sectioned things off a little, made them look a little nicer. So yeah, it looks great. To publish this, when you first upload a file, like for the first time, and you're messing around with it for the first time, first you have to, it's gonna make you save it as a KC project. I think that's what it's called. It's gonna make you save it basically as like a working file, um, almost like a rough draft. And then once you do that, then you can publish it and like save it as a, like, almost a package that's ready to be uploaded to KDP. And so I've already done all that. And so I'm gonna jump over to KDP now and show you what the putting in the details and uploading and all that will look like. Okay, here we are. And I've already added a lot of the information. Um, I put in a sidewalk secret, that's the title. For the subtitle, I just kind of put so that it would help me a little bit with keywords and help people know what this is, that it's a short story, not a full book, a youth fiction short story. And put in my author name, um, put in the description, and own copyright, and then, you know, some keywords. And none of these keywords are super great. You can probably spend more time researching good keywords to help your um, ebook rank and search, because keywords some people, when they get the knack for it and they kind of study how to do it, they can do really well with keywords because there's a lot that goes into it. I put some pretty obscure, um, some obscure categories. 
Put age, blah, blah, blah. I'm ready to read my book now. So yeah, this is a really straightforward process. It doesn't take a whole lot to do. And like once you're done with your manuscript, you can, and if it's not a super long manuscript, you can in almost one sitting just upload it. And like if you have your cover, you can upload it into Kindle Create and do all that and then upload it to KDP. And it's really simple. Uh, this, you can look more at this. I'm not worried about it. Digital rights management. Um, that is a whole different ball game, I think, that I'm not going to get into. Yeah, you can see this thing pop up where it talks about it. Um, again, I'm not going to go in depth on that. Upload ebook manuscript. And so I've already uploaded it. Uh, you have to upload kind of like that big package file, not the working file of your ebook. And so I did that. I uploaded the cover I made in Canva. There it is. And I'll launch the previewer, but I've already looked at it and I'm pretty sure it looks good. But it gives you different ways that you can look at it. You can look at it on like a tablet form, iPhone form. Yeah, see, this is tablet form. Sidewalk secret. It takes a bit to load every time you flip the thing. And yeah, in my manuscript, there's probably going to be, if you decide to check this out, you're probably going to see some typos and stuff, but that's fine. A lot of this is for example. And there's my section separator. I'm so happy about that. I actually made that in Procreate. I think I already said that, though. Yeah, that looks good. Phone. Yeah, I'm not really worried. It's Obviously, it's not going to be perfect, but it's like, it, it's just really, really cool how Kindle Create will automatically just kind of push that down into where it all fits together in ebook form, and it makes it super easy just to convert your stuff and make it into an ebook, especially if it's just a small file. It can, you can use ebooks for so many different things. You can use it like say you were going to make a thing about recipes you could make or if you wanted to do a bunch of short stories or maybe poems or something like that it's really neat so phone and i may not wait for this to load i think you get the idea oh that looks different it's kind of nice all right book details going back mm -hmm. all right all that looks good no ISBN, no publisher, save and continue. And one mistake I had made earlier was in my keywords, I put free, like free short story because I'd been thinking, oh, I'm gonna make this ebook for free. But then I realized later, it's like, oh, I have to charge for it. And then KDP kind of told me, they're just like, yeah, you can't say in your keywords, free short story and then charge for it. And I'd forgotten about those keywords and stuff. So just make sure that kind of all that lines up. I enrolled it in KDP Select. That sounds good. KDP Pricing Support Beta. I have not used that before. Well, maybe I have. I'm not going to mess with it. I'm going to do it like this so that I can price it for less. If I price it, you'll see if I get a 70% royalty, I have to price it like $2.99. So I'm going to do it at 35%. And... Allow lending for this book, sure. So yeah, that all looks good. I'm going to publish it. And it says it can take up to 72 hours. Oh, see, that was really quick. And there it is. It says it can take up to 72 hours for your title to be available to purchase on Amazon. Sometimes it takes longer. I've noticed lately they kind of seem to take longer, but maybe that's just me. Maybe it's kind of just a phase right now. So yeah, that's essentially all there is to it. If you found this helpful, um, please like and subscribe and you know check out some more content like this. Uh, I have another video about like doing paperback journals with KDP. And so yeah, um, again, like and subscribe if you found this helpful and thanks for watching.